Alright, so Viserate Bannerman Loyalist. Cover for our marksman Wivark. So luckily I could cheat on this one alone. This was actually our pack one pick one for the next podcast. So we went ahead and finalized on Eviscerate. So I'm gonna snag the Eviscerate here. Uh, let's see, Avalanche Yeti is pretty powerful. Minotaur Lightfoot isn't bad. I actually kind of like it. Helps trick our mastery, as well as being a 4-4-4-4. Four, 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 four. Seems like a solid body. Uh, other card is competing for is Avalanche Yeti, obviously, and Living Example. But considering we took a Eviscerate, I'll just take the Minotaur here. Uh, Aegis Mentor is a consideration, as well as Tord Test Pilot. Uh, those are pretty much the only ones that are really calling out to me here in this pack. Uh, Aegis Mentor has the potential. Obviously, it pumps, like, for example, our Light Hoof. Uh, also puts us in Xenon. I think I could take the Aegis one and see what's up here. Uh, we have Dragon Breath, we have Outfitter, Banished Umbrin, and Razor Quill. So a lot of Shadow coming our way, which is good. So I like our first two picks. We'll take Razor Quill here. It's a solid body. I think it's good all around. Uh, Mark of Shame, Tantrum. Could also take the token here, passing up a Bludgeoner and a Tantrum. I haven't really seen a lot of fire that pulls me into it. We are seeing a Mark of Shame that could play into the Curses. But I'm not super excited about that card. I think I'm okay passing it as well. So we'll just take the token here, enable being able to play more cards. Uh, another Viscerate or a Seek Power. I think I like having another Viscerate. That way we can be a little lenient with our removal later on. Yeah, we'll take a Viscerate here. Ooh, display. But oh, man, kind of nowhere near playing that. Actually, we're 100% not playing that. We're like nowhere near those colors, which is a real shame. So we'll just take another Razor Quill here. Oh, man, that display's so good, too. Well, thank you very much, Sandy. This is mighty kind of you. I appreciate that. Stronghold Vandal is a good consideration. Sanguine Sword is not too bad. And then there's a Dragon Breath. Um, Man, it's a little awkward, actually. Probably the card that we can most facilitate right now in our deck would be the Sanguine Sword. Stronghold Vandal is probably a little bit stronger. Dragon Breath has some potential as well. Um, yeah, we'll take the sword. Uh, downfall, we can take uh, this kind of options. I'm not super excited about downfall. Uh, I guess we'll just take the token. We can get downfall pretty late. Fend off or cobalt ring. Uh, I think we'll take the fend off, put it in the board. Take the token, though I don't see us playing it. And a Bren scrying. So I'm not super happy of our pack one. Let's see if we're able to pull something off later on. Uh, so let's see here. We have a Clean Artisan, a Grappler, and then a Hellfire. Or a Skyfire Hellkite. So we have a Blood of Makar that somewhat combos with Razor Quill. But either death. We also have a Kindo Shadow Step. Uh, let's see. We have... Hmm. I think it's be... Probably take the Grappler here, honestly, out of all these cards. Double Fire seems a little tough. We may still be in... Oh, Herodias with the Raid coming in 94 strong. What is up, friend? Let's get some hype in chat for Herodias. Thank you so much for the Raid, Herodias. Really appreciate it. Welcome everyone, I'm Jedi from Eternal Journey, the podcast. We're doing some drafting tonight. How did your stream go, Herodias? Good to see you, friend. It's been a little bit since I've seen you in the directory. How'd your stream go? Welcome one and all to the Eternal Journey. Oh, no kidding. Wow, 12 hours. What a marathon. Kudos to you. I think the longest I've done so far was seven hours. I was exhausted by the end of it, because I can imagine. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and just take a uh, champion grappler here. It might be something we splash later on. Looking here, we have a malaise. We have in the heat's faithful. Arc of soul, we're not really seeing a lot just yet. Warbrush, Rent Seeker, Flick Conscience. 
Flip Conscience is probably the strongest card, I think. Um, still open to what we could take here. None of these cards are really pulling me into anything. Guess we could take the Faithful because we wouldn't mind hate. We won't hate playing Xenon, splashing potentially fire. It also, once again, has some fixing for Sanguine Sword, so we'll take the Heat's Faithful. Just relaxing a bit, focusing on my YouTube channel. Oh, nice. What's uh, link your YouTube channel in chat? All right, good night, buddy. Sleep well, friend. Uh, all right, here we have. Let's see, we have Intrepid Longhorn, but we didn't see that much justice in pack one. Uh, we also have a Zenith Insignia. I like that. It lets us kind of facilitate our fixing right now, even over Sunset Priest. So, yeah, we'll take the Insignia here. Oh man, Long Intrepid Longhorn and a Seasoned Drill Master. That's starting to let me know that we might be seeing a lot. Actually, I want to take all three of these cards. That's a little rough. Good night, Herodias. Thank you so much again for the raid. Guess... Mm, we did see some time. There you go. Sweet. Yeah, no kidding, Alperable, for sure. We definitely got two sets, different sets of cards in uh, these packs, for sure. Man, this really makes me feel like Combray is open. Then what, we pick up more time in pack? Yeah, I'll definitely check it out, Herodias. Thank you so much for linking that. Uh, let's take the look out here. Another Longhorn. Wow. All right. So maybe we're just going to go ahead and jump in the Combre if we're getting it fed so easily like this. That's gross. Here's our Argent Insignia as well. Problem is, is that all our shadow is double shadow. So that's kind of tough. Take the Longhorn. Favored. Uh, yeah. Koda sees all now. All right. Wow. What a hard audible. And now we get like nothing really exciting for us. I guess we'll take a Blood of Makar, though I'm not really excited about playing it in this deck. Unmake seems okay. I don't mind having one of those. Crowd Queller can go on the board. Kodash Evangel. And Cinder Dragon. Alright, hopefully we get past the same kind of pack. We'll see. Alright, Grodos favored. Uh, over Immortalize, yes. Another Blood of Makar, another Immortalize, uh, Spike Tail Kirin. So let's see, cut our double shadows, which is a little rough. We could probably cut Grappler, we haven't seen any fire. And Sword. We might still consider that, we'll see what's up. So we have, I think we just take the Spike Tail here, since we're not sure if we're playing Justice or Shadow just yet. We'll take Spike Tail. Reconnaissance does combo very well with our double uh, double Razor Quills. I feel like I want to take that over the Kodash Evangel just because of that. So, yep, we'll take the Reconnaissance here. Draw Strength. Passing up really nothing else. So, yeah, we'll take this Draw Strength here. Man, we could have had four Intrepid Longhorns. Should have maybe auto a little bit sooner, but that's all right. Bane Wolf, Edict. We'll just take the Evangel here, make sure we can play our cards. Bullable for C. Kirin. Uh, also, we'll take, let's see, if we go back to three color, what do we look like? Might just take, let's see. What's this look like? We have 12 units right now. I think we'll take the Insignia. I would, I, I'm kind of okay passing the Light Hoof, but I want the Razor Quills and the Eviscerate. We'll take the Insignia here. Uh, we're not playing Fire, so we don't need Grappler. Metal is a strong consideration. Yeah, those were our pick one and pick three, I think, inoperable. It's really tough, for sure. So we'll see. Hopefully our Shadow gets balanced out. Uh, it doesn't look like we're going to be playing the... We might actually cut Justice now. We'll see. We jumped into it a little too late. Take metal here. Maybe not. Mistrust. Take a mistrust. Another insignia. I like that. Longhorn or draw strength. Hmm.
Hmm. This is tough. We're at 12 units. I'm going to take the Longhorn. Oh, we got rewarded with a draw strength. I'll take that over Nahid's choice. All right, so let's see what we're going to get in this pack. So we're not a mantle deck. Wanted poster is not where we want to be. This doesn't give us any of our colors. So I think this is just going to be a pretty easy Quicksilver Ooze for the time unit. What's up, Sakarnan? Good to see you, friend. Been a little bit, buddy. Oh, man. Nowhere near Shadow. There's another Minotaur. For a test pilot, Bannerman, Tremor Shocker. I think we have to take the Bannerman here, even over Tremor Shocker. We just need to make sure, because it looks like we're going to be solidified in the three colors, which is kind of a shame. It just is what it is. We can actually cut this token. This is... Oh, shoot. Do we cut this one, too? Wow. Fixing is pretty bad. It's all three colors. We Oh, we got good Xenon fixing. Haven't been too bad, buddy. Haven't been too bad. How are you doing? Oh man, this stinks. This stinks quite a bit, and I'll tell you why. Because I really want the Bannerman. Another Aegis Mentor would be nice, but Archive Curator is just so good. What's our fixing like right now? We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I don't hate it. Yeah, I'm going to take the art, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two drops. Yeah, we'll take the curator here. And we actually could have gotten a fourth, I think. I don't remember if it was uh, Argent Port, Insignia, or Xenon. Take the archive. Uh, let's see. So this gives us two colors. This gives us no colors. Oh, I'll cut ties. Yeah, we'll just snag cut ties. We're a little light on units, but since we have three really solid pieces of removal, I think we're going to be in really good shape. I actually like that. Uh, passing up the token. Yeah, we'll take cut ties. There you go, death. If you're still in here, buddy. Ooh, stained honor with our double razor quills to combo off with our reconnaissance. I mean, that's kind of greedy, right? That seems a little greedy. Maybe, not necessarily sure. I mean, we have the Evangels and the Bannerman. We may cut it. It just depends on how many units we're going to get. Uh, probably going to take the Test Pilot here over Stain Honor. I don't like building a three-card combo. Two cards as it is is already kind of dicey. So we'll take the Test Pilot. Uh, Secret Pages is a consideration, but I think we're going to be actually good. Like, we have three pieces of Xenon fixing. Plus, we have two Kodosh Evangels, so actually, I think we're going to... Yeah, plus a Bannerman. I think we're actually going to be okay. Uh, we don't have armor for Horn Grinder, so we'll just take the Sidearm. Another Razor Quill. That will be our 18th unit, passing up pretty much nothing. Yep. Uh, don't care for any of these cards. I think I like Flash Grenade actually over the uh oh did we even put it in i don't even think we did unmake don't hate a make we'll, we'll take the flash grenade but it may not make it uh is let's see we can cut the nahid's faithful for the banished unburn what does that give us we have oh we only have two threes yeah let's do that Cut the Faithful, take the Umbrin. Reinforce, and Spell Sword. Alright. So, not too shabby. I'm trying to think. I mean, our top end is a little lacking, but we also have a Kodasi's All and Removal. So, I think if we can get there. We got a triple Razor Quill, only one Reconnaissance. So, if we could do it just once. What's up, Shimra? Good to see you, friend. Alright, go ahead and go into Lurk Mode. I don't mind. So, this is a really... Man, we could have gotten four or five longhorns if we had audibled early enough we at least picked up the two grodos favored that were handed to us and we missed a third draw strength so combray was wide open in pack two but it was nowhere near open in pack one and four 
which I think is fine. I think we did the best deck we could with what was passed to us. We got some quad, because I mean, you could just tell double eviscerate and cut ties and a bunch of razor quills in packs one and two, right? And then we got spike tails. We could have had a little cleaner of an early game. Like this lookout could have been a spike tail, or I'm sorry, uh, a longhorn. Yeah, I would like like one more finisher, which I guess is Kodosh sees all. It's a little sketchy with double uh, justice, but I think we might be able to get there. What does adding power look like? I like 18 power in this deck with things like Razor Quill and Kodosh sees all, draw strength. I want to have the excess power. I think we can cut. Let me see how many sources is that. This is four, five, six, seven, eight sources of time. Then six, seven, eight, nine. Oh yeah, forgot about Bannerman. Nine justice, so that's gonna make sure we could do that on two. And then four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, I think we'll be all right. Have a good night, Parmalee. Thanks for hanging out and lurking, I appreciate it. Um. No, I, I think I think we, this deck wants 18 power. Like we have double eviscerate, cut ties, three twist units, Grodos favor, and then Kodos sees all. I really think, and then obviously draw strengths. Like I think we really want to get there. It might be an unmake. I think we just end up killing everything. I like having metal because we can swing in with metal works good with our longhorns, works good with our twisted razor quills, and then obviously favored. Thanks, Sakarnan. I appreciate that. We couldn't unmake. Make one more cut. Aegis Mentor pumps. Shoot, Aegis Mentor pumps like a good chunk of good stuff because it's four and above. So I think that is going to do some work. It may actually just be Banished Umbrin or Mistrust. I think those are the two I'm sitting on. What do you guys think? It's probably just Mistrust, right? Because I could say Banish Umbrun is an alternate wing con, but that's what we have Kodos sees all for. So I think I like the idea of getting, I mean, what are we at? We're very heavy on fours though. So maybe just for curve considerations, it's Banish Umbrun. What are we doing on three? We're doing one, two, th three. Yeah, actually, what's up Makiro? We just started. Yeah, I, I so in a vacuum, I would take Mistrust over Banished Umbrun, but I think for curve considerations, it's probably a little more viable to cut Mistrust since we have so many fours and we want to keep our four units because they get pumped by Mentor. So I'm going to cut Mistrust here. Yeah, I like it. I think this looks solid. We missed a, another test pilot to take fixing, which I think is fine. Let me just check the cards that didn't make the deck. Just double check here. I mean, there's a slight combo with Blood of Makar, but I just don't think this deck is going to be aggressive enough to really capitalize on it. Uh, there's a consideration for Sanguine Sword, but I don't really think we're going to want to sack anything either. Uh, these don't give us access to anything we're thrilled about. Yep, so we missed on a Bannerman. Alright, let's see how this goes. Godspeed! Oh, <laughs> and we start off with Hats on Lamps. All right, well, there's my first misplay, but we have a turn two Longhorn, so let's give it a shot. Thanks, Chastity. Yeah, no kidding, Super Vader, man. All right, we have all our colors. We even have our double, double shadow. Look at that. Look at that. Now they turn to uh, look out us, and we get wrecked. You know? So we have an answer to their first Grodos favored. 
Yep. See if they attack here. We need the power, but if I can get rid of theirs, or at the very least eat a trick, I think we're fine with that. Uh, yeah, I just told you that we uh we drafted uh Xenon. So there you go, not a Combray deck. Nice. With the blowout. Way to go, Hats. Look at that. Just crushed it. Power? All right, no power. That's a little rough. I think we just lose here. Man, what a blowout. Double trick. Yep, you got it. And then they get the ramp, and we missed power. Oh, there they go. They got it. There's fourth power. We can silence, I guess, here. One turn too late. If we were able to silence this next turn, last turn, I would have felt a little bit better, but it is what it is. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I guess we just take the six here. Probably gonna reconnaissance. Let's see. Let's see. Uh need to break that weapon. Power? Yeah, just the way we planned it out. Look at that. Now we're going to get to block here, gain some life. Seems good. Uh, we will not decimate. Hey there, Raven Dragon. So we're not dead yet, which makes me feel slightly better about this game. I thought we were just dead, honestly. Oh, hey, that's not bad. Like, I kind of want to equip it here so we could start swinging and gain some life, but that actually doesn't do much for us. There's an argument to potentially put it here so I could block and kill some things. Um, I feel like we wait though. What are we looking for? Because I really want to slap it on this, but they could just keep blocking with the old uh, momentum builder. And then I think if momentum builder gets buffed in any way, it could. Hmm, we just need to eviscerate it. I think we hold. Which way does it look stretched? I just can't win. It keeps looking so bad. Yeah, we're just going to die to get overwhelmed here. Alright, there's power. We're just not in a position to attack just yet. Ooh, Razor Quill. We already used our... Uh, we already used our... Uh, stinks that we already used our stuff and things. Our reconnaissance. But it drew us our fifth power off of them. Uh, 
do we like that? So we could start swinging? No, we can't actually. Okay. We could start trading for one, I guess, maybe? Nice. All right, we'll eviscerate that next turn. Yep. Take it. Uh, let's see. I guess we just eviscerate. Is it worth the mill here? We attack. We attack. Get him for one. Let me see where they're at. 26? Yeah, I don't think the mill matters. Just kill it. And hold. Then we could silence the flyer, probably. Because nothing else is doing much here. I guess. I kind of want to hold the favor, but he's starting to develop quite a big board. Another Razor Quill helps, actually. We can swing with this. And they have to block with a, let me see, that puts it at eight. They have to block. They lose most of their board. I actually kind of like that. Because if we do it here, that's five, six, seven. You only lose three things to kill it, essentially. That might not be bad, though, right? Oh, they just can't block it, actually, because they'll block three things. We'll kill three things. They don't have enough to kill it. Yeah, let's just do that. Then next turn, we equip the sidearm and start swinging. Uh, we can also do these two things. I don't hate that, actually, either. Yeah, let's do that start turning the corner because then next turn we can pump swing this is eat up a handful of things then we can equip yeah i like that i think we're whittling down quite a bit oh all right that was unfortunate for us well now we're gonna trade a lot less yeah normally i do yeast out I normally wait for a good silence target, but the problem is, is that we were in a position where they were just very, aww. That's, oh shoot, there goes that plan. Oh man, we were one turn too shy. Gosh, I think now it's kind of impossible. We need to gain some life. Oh, now we can't even swing. Gosh, my game plan just got ruined there. Cause I wanted to equip like we would have pumped traded with a bunch of things but here now even if we equip here they could just block or they could just take it because they gained so much life they gained 10 life which means even if we swing for eight they go down to 23 and then they come back and kill us oh that's so awkward I think we're just dead. Oh, that stinks. That really stinks. Yeah, having that rare that turn really helped. Because then if they were at, they were still at 21, we would swing. And then if they took eight, they'd go down to the, they'd be, yeah. All right, so what are our outs in our deck? Another Viscerate wouldn't quite do it. Cut ties? No. We have another... Evangel? Let me see. I'm trying to think what what are out. Yeah, I guess we need Code Off Seize All to start getting in the air to make a bunch of blockers. Good to see you, by the way, Yist Out. Hey there, Alex. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, next turn they just pump that thing to Oblivion. All right, let's make some more blockers. All right, 
Well, that thing's gonna have to get like triple blocked, which is annoying. Uh, we could sidearm here to make another blocker and swing. Yep. I think we're just dead. Let's see. Wanna... This is a way to... We lose both these guys. The three can block, I guess. I guess I'd rather kill a cultist than not. We need something to block. Here, block here, and we take. Oh, we still take 10. Do we have to let that guy live? No, wait, we gain two. So we go to two. Yeah, I think that's our. Yeah. Yeah, I know. John told me that. I just didn't learn. Just didn't learn. Can we do 30 damage next turn? I don't think so. Man, we were so close to turning the corner too. I just felt like we were t one turn behind, you know? Like it's that rare that really... Yep. Bummer. Yeah. So close. The deck did really well too. I think we really did have a chance. I really did. Uh, if we had another removal spell for their Kieran as well. In inoperable, it's kind of funny. Or actually, Sakarnan, because we had the Unmake in our deck. Um, man, I'm not quite the biggest fan of this hand. It's a little slow. We're going to redraw. Even though this deck is really power hungry, I like four power. We need to have a two. There we go. This hand is a little bit better. Uh, let's see. Double time, double shadow. Yeah, we'll keep this. We don't need double justice till later. So I like going ahead and just getting our double shadow now so we can play, like, for example, our longhorn or street horn or whatever it is. Case in point. Um, so let's go. Actually, I guess we don't have a. Th we could go Kieran. Ooh, either of these? Hmm. We want to quick draw our life steal or do we want to quick draw Kirin? That's actually an argument. Uh, we also have the ability to give him unblockable, so I think we'd rather. Let's just go Shadow here. Send it back. We could have. Wait, wait a minute. Oh, because the Koda. Okay, okay, okay. Let's get on the board. Oh, hey, good job. Hey, great game, Hats. You played it so well. You played it so well. Like, way to... That, that double spell... Oh, man. That's a bit of a bummer. That double uh, combat trick on four was fantastic. Like, such a blowout. So, well played indeed, friend. Uh, I think just getting... They're stuck on power. I don't think we really care about the unblockable here. Let's just go ahead and get on the board with a 4-4. Four -four. I think that's going to force them to have an answer. And then we have some follow-up plays, so let's do that. Yeah, you did. Oh, man. It was like we were one turn behind that whole game, Hats. So you played it so well to put us on the back foot. Like every time I was like, sweet, we get to turn court. No, we don't. All right, we get to turn. No, we don't. I was like, oh, Hats, that's why he's such a good player. It's so frustrating. So well played, man. Well played. Definitely put on a clinic on your skill for sure. Uh, yeah, let's... Do we silence that? I think they have to block here, right? We could quick draw here. And then... Eh. 
We could just swing here, equip here, then deploy that. Yeah, actually, I'm going to do this. Let's do this. They'll take it. Yep. Deploy another threat. If they try to swing, we might go ahead and draw strength. Not 100% sure here. Uh, Yeah, death, I probably will. Oh, no kidding. Congratulations, friend. I wish I was... Oh, well, that's a saucy silence target. Yes, thank you. Oh, and we get to decimate? Yep, let's swing with the team. Yep, seems good. Decimate, pump that. Kill this, gain some life, they deal some damage, silence that so they can't draw cards, send it back. I don't know i feel like you just played it so well hats like seriously like i said if you want to go back and watch the vod literally you were oh man it was perfect it, like i wasn't exaggerating either every time i was like cool we'll do this nope you have an answer i was like okay cool and i had i had the uh the sidearm in my hand and i was like okay we'll play the Gordoff favor equip it and swing and force you to make like triple blocks and stuff then we had the two units i was like well i could pump the kieran and then hold the quick draw and you were just like smashing me i was like yep that's why you're a good player uh so let's see here if we attack right what block so this is a trade this is a trade but these all trade up they would have to double block to kill something and the only problem is is that let's see so we could just twist here and actually i kind of like that we're not doing anything else with our power So what does that do? That really doesn't change the math here very much. So let's keep twisting. Six. Does that do something? That means they have to double block here to kill it. That's a little unfortunate. I might have... But then now we can... This isn't... No. Yeah, we got to go to seven. So this forces them to trade this way. And now everything is lethal. All right. Minus this guy. Let's do that put them on the back foot so they have to create double blocks if they want to kill something uh, I don't know about that death like I'm not as strong of a control player as you are so it's a little sketchy all right let's see if we get there I mean they have to do something about razor quill worst case scenario we just double twist it and kill him all right, them getting stuck on power and us curving out just worked out really well for us. Oh, good. I did not know that. What? How am I going up against Cosimo again? That's not right. Back to back in this, literally back to back. I'm sorry, Cosimo. Uh, sure. We actually get our colors and we still get a turn one scout. All right. All right, let's see if this gets us here. Yeah, it's really weird. I guess not enough people are queued up. Oh no, what a bummer. All right, well, I guess we're gonna go with uh, the old uh, Justice here. Eh, turn three Longhorn isn't horrible. Oh, great, right on time. Our curve is just busting it. Our curve is sick. So we have our double man. I'll tell you what, for solid three colors, we're doing really good. Uh, do we just silence that? Kind of want to. I mean, this just gets in here, this just gets blocked. I'm trying to think if I care about the silence. I probably do, right? What else did we see them play? Yeah, I think it's just better. Let's just silence it. Hopefully I don't get punished.
Yeah, it's typically not supposed to happen, Vader Man. I think they modified it a little bit when draft keys were starting to get long, but back to back like that is kind of insane. Oh, there's Razor Quill. That's funny. Uh, so do we just go unblockable here? I think we kind of do. I don't want to eviscerate either of those things. So it's just... We're never going to get our combo. <laughs> I keep, like, burning it early. But that's fine. Uh, I don't... Do we care about one damage? Yeah, let's do it. It's so funny. I literally keep doing that. Like, I burnt. Now, watch, we're going to draw a Razor Quill next. And we just missed out on, like, massive card draw capabilities. Oh, well, hello, friend. Yeah, sure, That's that seems good. Just the way the Bannerman, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I did I didn't play Pook, actually. I played oh sad face. I played one game. By the way, hi Pook. Hi Armrick, good to see you guys. Um I didn't play Pook. Actually, I had a bunch of stuff to do. This is the first time I'm on. I think I played one more game after I logged off real quick, and that was it, so I didn't get a chance to. Ooh. I think it's worth pumping this guy. Making a 6-6 six -six seems pretty strong here. Uh, we can attack to offer the trade. I don't hate that either. Let's go here. And then next turn, we can eviscerate if they play something big. Like that. Ooh, and another Longhorn. So let's see. Cost one less for each of your shift units in tomb. Play two shifted two threes. So we can wait a turn so we can get in more damage. Yeah, let's do that. So let's go. I know they have a third color as well. They might be sandbagging it. So let's go here. No, 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 no. Oh, I misclicked. I misclicked. Oh, I misclicked. It's supposed to be this guy. Gosh darn it. Awkward. So awkward. Oh, man. What's up, sugar? Ooh, that's spicy. Yeah, that... Oh, man. I hope we don't die to that. I really hope we don't die to that. Alright, let's... Uh, eviscerate. Swing. Then... Longhorn. Oh man, I really hope we don't lose that two points of damage. We'll see. So if we draw power here, that would be so money. Power to cut ties this guy and swing, that would be so nice. Oh, jeez. Oh, nice. Oh, the synergy. And it has exalted. Wow. There's the power. So do we just keep bashing here? So let's see. They put... We kill this. They put the weapon here. Right? Then we swing. They're going to block the big guy. They take five. Go to seven. That doesn't seem great for us. I think they've stabilized. Oh, man. That was so good for them. Yep. That's a shame. Them being able to play that right away was really good for them. Really good for them. It wouldn't have worked because it has exalted, so they just would have made this guy big, so it would have traded.
Oh, that's not a bad idea. Yeah, okay, I like that. You're right, you're right. Good call. You're right, I forgot. Yeah, okay. Well, luckily, if they don't play another unit, we have a little bit of reprieve here. So, good call. Nice, John. No, you guys are totally right. You guys are totally right. I missed that line. I'm not gonna lie, I completely missed it. I wonder if we swing with everything. Sweet. Good call, guys. Good call. So they got two more blockers. Yeah, man. We could have gotten so much damage, too. <sighs> Alright, there's that. That saves us a little bit. So let's see. Okay. Interesting. It's your follow up here. Oh, nice. Nice, 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 nice. All right, they're going to block here, take three. Okay. So technically, you should be at five. Oh my god, it's going to come into play. I know it. I'm okay trading here. Or, oh, it's not. All right. Oh, see? So they would have been dead. Oh. Uh, see? They would have been dead. Oh. All right. So they can attack us. What happens here? Of course, they have another unit. All right. If we attack, they just get a dragon. Let's see if we attack, they get block, double block, chump block. I kind of want to push, but I think that's incorrect. Yeah, that two damage. All right, so if they attack, or we attack, they block here. They'd have to triple block to get this guy and we two for one them. They get a dragon if they do anything else here. Oh my god. This is really awkward. I wonder if we... Oh, shoot. That was not correct. They can double block to... I think we just swing because they have to double block to kill something. Oh, they jump block. They kill... Okay. Okay. Yeah, but they're going to get more blockers. Um, What does that do? What does that do for us? We, have, we only have one Longhorn, right? One Light Hoof. We burned our Flyer. We don't have anything with Overwhelm. We burned our Reconnaissance. I guess we should probably play our Power in case we get Top Deck. Oh, they would have been dead. Gosh, that misclick. Okay, that makes me feel a little bit better. So, I wonder if we swing here and then silence. No, this is silencing the 0 2 is way better. So, wait, do we have a good attack here?
What does this do? Let's see. Maybe I should have blocked there. Oh yeah, that seems like a gimme. That worked out for us. I mean, it's not even a three for one because they got all those cards for free. We still have the power to play Kodashi's All. We did put ourselves away from hitting. Oh man, we got lucky. Down a little bit. Let me know if that looks a little bit better for you guys. Does that look any better? Uh, let's see. Uh, no, we don't like this. We want three power. We're going to go ahead and redraw. Uh, Tana's really slow. We're going to send it back. We could have played it. We could have played it. All right. Oh, hey. All right. Okay, sand is not great. If one of those powers was not depleted, then I would have kept that hand because we had all three colors and we would have been able to play everything. But two two power depleted, I think was just oh. All right, that's a little gross. I mean, we have an answer to it, but yeah. Uh, let's play our shadow. And yeah, I'll jam. If you want to trade here? We're fine with that. Of course, they don't. Send it back. Uh, the problem, the problem was that the power was uh was uh, depleted, so I think it was gonna put us too far behind. Oh, that's awkward. It's very awkward, and they're playing Mono sh Shadow right now. That's funny. Uh... I want to pump at least one thing. They malaise us, they malaise us. Good thing is, though, they didn't shift off. Ugh. What are they doing? This is so awkward. Alright, so actually, I, I actually am going to run the mentor out now and just do it for no value because. Oh, wait, never mind, never mind. This guy can block these. Never mind, never mind. Because I want to start killing these guys. That way, when we get to one of our removal spells, we can turn this on. All right, that seems good. These guys are gross. All right, well, we're not gonna take a... Uh, awkward. So they put it on Ollie, probably. I mean, that's fine. We have the removal spell for Ollie. It's not great for us, but I think we're just done. Tan was a little too slow. So, block, chump block. And double block. Go down to nine. How risky is it to go to nine? We draw power. Let's see what their follow up is. So we have a blocker, we have a removal spell. We just need a power there. Let's see, chump. All right, they got it. All right, that was unfortunate. Don't don't think. I mean, the only mistake probably there was not running out the uh, the uh, the two three right away. You know, on three, that might have been our only mistake. I don't know if that was right or wrong, though. Uh, yeah, this is great. Two, three, we have all our colors. We'll keep it. Two, three, four. So this is good. I mean, them having a turn one Ollie, and then obviously the combo of double 
listener with the sunset that was pretty rough i just don't think if we chump block there the ollie we would have been at 12 but i don't think there was an out to that why is it why is that damasi like I, I i'm not saying you're wrong i'm just curious because to me as soon as they played another power we, we had a 2-3 versus a 2-2. Two -two. Oh, I always do that. Gosh darn it. I always see the influence. I think we have one power already. Um... What's the better unit? I think I'd rather play the unit that could get bigger. Alright, that's a good one for them. Oh, awkward. That's a little awkward, because I would have very much played that right now. Do we offer the trade? I don't think so. Could be yeah, I think hmm. Let's see, let's see. What's the better we can go we can go two drops next turn if we draw power. And I'm okay trading the Umbran for that. So let's just go here. We're gonna leave our guy back because this guy can trade a lot better than this guy can. Uh what's my scope death? Are you talking about in this format? Or are you talking about all alright? All right, well, you got it. We're not taking, we're not gonna take four here. Okay. There's our power like we expected. So let's go here and here. Then the next turn, if we don't have anything going on, we could play test pilot. It's nothing on five what are we looking at here high alerts on the format they don't have the double time sure burn a trick yep uh let's go with our flyer ah okay that's respectable One, two, three, four, five. All right, we're on D right now. We don't want that to get bigger. Yeah, it just, it was really tough, the Mossy, because of the fact that they were attacking with, uh, ugh. Well, we have the answers in our hand. So now they're just waiting for a trick to push damage through. Uh, draw strength will blow us out here. That's kind of funny that we have, like... So we're not out of this yet. Sweet. Oh no. <laughs> it's the one card we don't it's the one power we don't need right now. Oh, that's great. That's great. Good news is if we draw our six power, we have a couple of options here. Um this just equipping this doesn't do anything we could equip here and swing i don't want to twist again because then we like set ourselves up
Huh. We twist again, we get solo block, but I don't think that's correct. I think we just gotta wait. Yeah, we've gotten real lucky for sure. If we attack, they have to double block. We kill one of their guys. I don't hate that. I really don't. They have four cards in hand, so that's a little risky. I feel like this forces them to do something, and I like that. Okay, that's fine. Okay. All right. I like that. Now we're going to silence their 5-5 five, five, or silence their... Hmm. Yeah, John Julio is killing it on the grind. He's going to get his buy in no time. Oh, nice death. You both are going to get there. Congratulations. I'll see you guys on day two if I can spike a tournament. Still, so one more power gives us Kodos sees all. All right, so they have something, but we're not going to let, yeah, here, you can, you can blow us out. What do you got here? Yeah, that's fine. Okay, so then we... Oh, okay, okay. What's your follow-up? Okay, okay. Not bad. Yeah, that's that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Silence here. Send it back. And then next turn. The funny thing is they're going to hate themselves because now we're going to cut off these all. So what are we worried about here? I don't, don't think we need to evangel this. All right, maybe we do now. Oh my God. Lenny's just going off. So there's the value of the old uh, Branton Griffin. Yeah, we take eight. All right, well... Oh yeah, we just, the, the owl we can, yeah, that's fine. We just code off these all here. Send it back. Now we have a 1-1 to block here. This can trade here. Yeah, I think we're good now. Uh, day two of the quarterly tournament. Now we can actually hold this till we get our reconnaissance. All right, let's start turning the corner. We're gonna hold this for something that's relevant. Oh, well, shoot, you know what? I kinda wanna do something with my power. Let's just get rid of the guy that can trade with our Evangel. Mill them. Ooh, uh, don't think we need to play Sidearm yet. I think that's a little greedy. What do we get? Field Captain. Okay, uh, yep. swing for two. No need to get super greedy. Can we get our reconnaissance? Hello, Cat Samurai. Yep, Koda sees all is legit. We have an answer to two answers, so I think we're good. I mean, we're giving them a lot of draw steps, but they're top decking and we still have tons of answers in our deck. Tons of answers. I mean, we're also at the point where we could put the uh, sidearm on Grudoff and start swinging, but they're being very conservative and we're still like getting there. So I don't think I should have played Bannerman there actually. 
Bannerman might have been a mistake here. Uh, let's see. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, they're almost dead. We don't have to. We don't have to push it. I like keeping the two answers, making sure we win here. Cut ties would have been awesome here. Uh, so what are we okay? I guess we're okay losing our razor quill. And block here. Actually, I'd rather get... Yeah, let's do this. I think these are safe blocks. I mean, there's an argument to keep our lifesteal unit alive, but... I think we're in pretty good shape. Oh, nice. Alright. That's fine. Good on them. Oh, and they give this guy. Nice. Okay, okay. I mean, we're going to eviscerate it, but... Get in there. Now we eviscerate this guy. Play a razor quill. Send it back. We might mill them, actually, at this point. We just hit him for 10. Uh, do they die next turn? We should have actually... Tw no, no. All right. We used all our power. Sweet. We got there. It's just based on... Uh, yeah, this is great. Two, three... Yeah. It's just based on what kind of flavor of control you want to play. But typically, your heart set control colors are going to be film. Um, there is, like, mass removal. There's a decent amount of conditional removal in Justice. But your straight-up kill cards are going to be Shadow... And then uh, Primal has your like card draw stuff, if that makes sense. I can't complain for real. It's been a good time. Uh, that's a little unfortunate. I don't really want to offer up the trade. And I think we could take a turn off on playing Mentor to see if we draw another card, like potentially a four. So let's see, we have our double shadow, double time. So I guess we'll just get our double justice. We'll play our lookout and send it back now. Because I really don't care to trade our longhorn up against their two drop as well. Uh, ooh, I like a big toward test pilot. I think that's worth throwing our curve off for a turn. Uh, do we attack here? Yep. I think they just take it. If they want to make this trade, we're fine with it. Yep. Go here. So that having Aegis is a little bit of an awkward moment, but... Yep, that's fine. They're going to get one attack in, then we drop our 3-6 flyer that can twist to Oblivion. Oh, hello, Kodos. He's all. All right, well, attack was good before. Attack's good now. Sweet. Yep, we're fine with that trade. They value the bird, huh? That's something to take in consideration. Um, now the question is, do we silence the bird before it gets bigger or not? Uh, we're not seeing shadow for Wretched Raven, though they did kill our... Yeah, there it goes. Okay. Ah, okay. Well, now I think it's safe to discard... Oh, no. Oh my god, we were going to have our combo this game. Uh, Cat Samurai, if you give me a second after this game, I'll go through some of the pre-cons that can help you uh, get a deck early. Oh, and we have Kodossi's all. Uh, do we get aggressive here? I think so. Let's silence here. And let's... We trade... Yeah, I think we start winning this race, so we'll attack. We have Kodossi's all next time we get power, so I think we want to start beating on them. Brosive Stalin, I know that name. So, let me ask you... Oh, there we go. Look at that. Just the way we drew it up. Uh, if we swing here, what happens? <sighs> I mean, do we want to get blown out by a trick here? They did nothing on five. 
And the thing is, is that Kodos sees all just kind of gets us there. Is that too aggressive? Eh. I may regret this. We'll see what's up. Oh, okay. That's fine. Yeah, that's, that's, yeah, sweet. Yeah, we're, we're on the same sheet, Omega. Yeah, I'll go over a couple of cards for you, Cat Samurai. I don't think anyone's going to mind. I'll take a minute to go over some of the pre-cons and some of the cards so you can make the decision. Ooh, nice. All right, so we're not attacking on the ground anytime soon. Sadly, the only downside about this is that we don't have, like, one curse to capitalize. Uh, yep, yeah, we could take two here. I don't think we're missing out on anything. They could just be engaging or activating Onslaught. Ooh, it's a good insurance policy. All right, let's uh, twist. I think, I'm trying to think if we want a 5-4 or a 4-5. Yeah, let's just keep it at a 5-4. I think that's fine. We'll get another bird here so they won't be able to attack with their We'll take the one. So now we just let Kodos sees all take this. Oh, hello, friend. Uh, wait. Back here. Drop Razor Quill. Of course, our reconnaissance is sitting on the top of our deck. I don't think we need to eviscerate. I also don't think we need to twist here. Let's just hold. Yes, yes, you can get free packs. And if you have an iPad, a Switch, Twitch, Switch, Switch, right? A Switch, the uh, the Nintendo thing. If you have Switch, PC, all of them, you can share the account and you can play the exact same account on all your, your uh, platforms, which is absolutely fantastic. So... Uh, let's see. Does it change the clock? It So if we go 4, 8, 12. Um, we can twist twice. Yeah, I think I like keeping this thing a little safe. What are we worried about here, right? Eviscerate just kills it. Um, What else? Is the 3 damage spell still in the format? I don't think so. I haven't seen it in the packs. Oh, the Aegis on that is a little awkward. It's just attack. I think we can wait a... Actually, it doesn't matter. We can shift next turn and it'll still give us our... So we're going to play our power here because I want to maximize the ability to twist. So we'll send it back. And next turn, now we can attack with... Uh, with Now I think we don't care about the two damage. So I'm actually going to swing with everything. We'll twist here and then attack. And that will get in. Yeah, I think we're okay. Oh, okay, I did not know that. So, yeah, where's Plato? Uh, yeah, it's on Xbox. You can totally play on Xbox, Cat Samurai. Uh... Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We're good. I, I, I'd rather keep this for a flyer. There's no reason to... Yeah, we're good. We got it. I think they, they have the writing on the wall here. So we're going to get in for... Oof. Well, is this the win? No, it's not. Because we have to spend all our power to do that. Yeah, we're good. I'll just twist this. Keep this for a flyer. Aw, we were going to have the Razor Quill kill. 
Sweet, we're not doing too bad. This three color nonsense is getting us there. Like, cause it's a good way to make a collection. All right, guys, let's see what we got here. Uh, three power with all our colors. Yeah, I think this is fine. We're missing our double time, double justice, or double shadow, which is a little bit of a concern, but we have a two, three, four curve. So we're gonna keep this. Yeah, if you want to play Justice Control, then you're probably better off staying in Throne for right now, Cat Samurai. Uh, just because it, it is going to give you access to the most removal in Justice. Versus, well, shoot, they did add Vanquish. So. Um, if I could make a suggestion, though, when it comes... See, if you're going to use your gold, use your gold to get to go into events whether it's forged whether it's granted forges ooh do we want to offer the trade here i think i do they can block and then yeah that's fine we could save our guy but i don't see the point to it i'd rather just drop our ooze Drop our ooze, and then that way next turn we have something to do with our power. We would like to still see power. If we do, probably gonna drop test pilot. Um, first thing I will tell you. Oh, that's a little unfortunate. That was very power. Ah, oh, awkward. Um, first thing I will tell you, if you're gonna buy anything, I do suggest going directly to the Dire Wolf website because going directly to the website if you're able to if you're playing like on pc or something because what they do is uh i don't want to trade this one especially since we have things that could block it and now they're getting close to having like a big boy uh let's go what happens here oh they have the ah uh, shoot Oh, we got lucky. We got lucky. I, I was talking. Um, let's play Razor Quill here. I know we have all our colors too. Man, double insignia is freaking sick. What are we looking at here? Okay. Um, so yeah, buy directly from the Dire Wolf website because the what they do is any you're gonna pay the same. Yeah, we saw that coming. Ooh, I like that. So we triple block and we have both the draw strength and the metal. I dig it. So anywho, you get charged the same amount. So if it's twenty dollars in game, you're gonna pay twenty dollars outside the game. Well, that's awkward. Oh, that's so awkward. Draw strength makes this a... Yeah, poop. Poop. We take seven? Oh, that's so good for them. So good. And then that thing becomes an eight. Guess we twist once. Oh, that's so... Oh, nine? We just dead? I think we're just dead. Oh boy. Twist once. Twist once makes us a 3 3. That's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. But it has quick draw, so that won't even work. Block their hatchling. Chump block. This is bad. We need a power and our eviscerate. We have answers to that too. What a shame. Oh, that double ramp really helped them out a lot. Oh, <laughs> all right. Yep, seems good. Huh? <gasps> Nice! Oh god. Oh, we're getting wrecked. 
We're getting wrecked. Yeah. Sweet. All right. Sweet. <sighs> I think we're just done skis. <laughs> All right, Joe Bags, they got it. Joe Bags is wrecking our day. Uh, yeah, the quick draw is just gonna. Yeah, we literally need. Yeah, I think we're just done. I mean, we have some jump blocks, but. So, oh, overwhelm. I completely. Yeah, I, my bad. Forgot about that. Yep, that's all she wrote. Yeah, yeah you were right, Demasi. I, I don't think we were getting out of that anyways. <laughs> 